5 to 11 servings of bread, cereal, or rice. What? 3 to 5 of vegetables and 4 of fruits. Is best. Their antioxidants and fiber help you to digest. We're going to talk about the second line and the third line defense very soon. And the second and third line defense is all about the police of our body trying to kill off bacteria once they've actually managed to get inside our tissue and inside our blood. So once they're inside our tissue and or inside our blood, which means the first line of defense has been penetrated, then the second plus third line of defense take over. Again, now you can imagine in many cases, much of our second and third line of defense is a bit like our police force. So they're looking for bacteria or pathogens that have gotten into our body and they try to kill it. But there's so many different types of bacteria, and obviously, I mean, the, the police have eyes, they, they, they might see that something's happening. But our white blood cells, which are like our police cells of our body, aren't really that sophisticated. They don't have eyes, they don't have really that many mechanisms to help them be able to detect or differentiate between good and bad. So how does a white blood cell know that you know, this is a good bacteria, that this is a bad bacteria, that this is maybe a virus? and it needs to kill the bad ones. How does it know what's good and what's bad? Right? It needs to know that so it can actually then do its job. And that's what we're gonna cover in this video. We're gonna cover this slip stop point which says identify antigens. So identify antigens as molecules that trigger the immune and an immune response. So you need to know that antigens are molecules that help us identify sort of the bad or the, the not our own cells and thereby trigger an immune response. So for example, we have, let's say we have a microbe which we do not like. So a microbe is anything which is small, microscopic. But let's say this microbe is a pathogen, so it is problematic for our body. What it will have, it will have these different parts sticking on it. So you have these different things sticking on it. And they might have this shape, or they might have this shape, or they might have this shape, or this shape. They're basically sh different types of shapes which are on top of their body. Every single cell in our body, or even even a protein fragment, every little thing has these different antigens. So we can identify things as from coming from our body or from different bodies. So let's say we have, you know, we've got this protein here. Uh, sorry, this is a protozoa. So P for protozoa, protozoa, B for bacteria, V for virus. We have a white blood cell, which is our. So this is from our own body. This is a good. This is from our own body. And this is a body cell, which is also from our own body. So what's the difference between these? If you look at the actual antigens, which is are these things which stick on top of it, right? So these things which stick on top of it, you can see that this protozoa has these shapes. This bacteria might have this shape. A different bacteria might have that shape. I mean, the shapes doesn't don't matter, but the shapes matter just in terms of identification, right? This virus might have this shape. And you can see the body cells and the white blood cells, which came from our own body, they have the same one. They have this one, this antigen sticking on it. And they're all identical. So the white blood cells, its job is to kill off any pathogen. So what it's going to do, it's going to roam around and check the actual antigens. It's going to see if the antigens are the same as its antigens or if it's different. So the antigen, the antigen, you can kind of imagine it to be the past, like a like an ID card. It's the ID card, and if, for example, the white blood cell looks at one of the organisms or one of the things floating in the body, and it checks its its actual code or its antigen and sees that it's different from its own, that means you know it's red red alert. This is a problem. You can't pass. You're not meant to be here. Whereas if it's identical. That means it's going to be okay. Everything's fine. You know, you're meant to be here. You're from our own body. So what happens is this white blood cell will just go around. It might go to the, say, the bacteria. It will check its antigen. It will lock in the antigen, see if it's the same one. And it will have a red alert happening because obviously this and this is not identical. They're different. So the white blood cell will check the ID, see that they're not meant to be here, and thereby start the immune response. The immune response is just... We have then a sort of red alert stage where the body tries to defend against the, the invader. Then the white blood cell might go to the protozoa, again, check the actual antigen. And it can't look at it, it can't really see it with its eyes, it doesn't have eyes, but that's the way it can identify it. 
check if it's the same. In this case, again, different from its own, thereby red alert. Again, immune response is, is triggered. The body defends itself against this protozoa invader. Same with the virus, it will check the actual antigen, different, just a problem. Then I might check the, our own body cell and see, oh, wait, we have the same one. We've got this one for us and this one for the blood cell, body cell, sorry. Everything's okay. Um, so this is basically the gist of this dot point. Identify antigens as molecules. So these are the molecules, which are on top of it, that trigger an immune response. So they trigger an immu immune response because antigen means that it's not from our own body. It's from a different body or that it's not meant to be here. That's basically the not meant to be here is probably a better way of looking at it. Now, when it comes to this, this, you don't need to know this for this dot point, antibodies, but we're going to cover it very soon, so I'm quickly going to go over them again. Antibodies are released by a special type of white blood cell. We're going to cover the white blood cell soon, but a special type of white blood cell will release these antibodies. And how these antibodies work is you can see this might be a bacteria. Let's say this is a bacteria here. And these are the antigens. So you can see these things I'm circling now are the antigens. And what happens is the antibody was released by one of the white blood cells. And we're actually able to lock on to the antigens. It will find specific type of antigens and lock onto them. And by doing so, it will actually eventually kill the bacteria. So that's how antibodies work. And you need to know a bit about antibodies. Not for this dot point, but for future dot points. I'm just hinting towards what antibodies are. Antibodies are produced by white blood cells and target antigens and kill them. And kill the bacteria that has the antigen. So identify antigens as molecules that trigger the immune response. Antigens are these molecules on which stick out with all kinds of things. And if they're found to not match the antigens of the white blood cells that are roaming around, that will trigger an immune response to try to kill the invader. Hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.